Welcome to vlog 3. So for those of you who have been watching my videos, I just want to thank all of you for the support. Thank you for liking them, giving me feedback. I really appreciate all of that because it means that uh, the work that I put into this is not meaningless and it reaches out to somebody and as long as it helps one person, uh, I'm happy. So, if you've been watching my videos, you know that uh, as I've been documenting my home workouts, you've seen this Viking press a couple of times. It's my favorite exercise. Uh, it's, a sh it's, a, it's to train your shoulders, um, and to me, it's a substitute for the barbell overhead press, which is my favorite exercise in the gym. Uh, partly because my shoulders have always been a stubborn body part, one of my lagging body parts, probably my worst body part. I've struggled to train it ever since uh, I started training back in 2010. I find a lot of people face a similar issue, issue to me where they struggle to uh, develop their shoulders. Uh, one of the reasons is that it's one of the most difficult movements or body parts to develop a mind-muscle connection to. People just don't feel their shoulders working when they do these exercises. So what, hap what ends up happening is when they do something like an overhead press, their triceps take over or uh, perhaps even their upper chest if they hyperextend the at their back and lean backwards. And uh, really what I've done to overcome this, which you can give which you can try if you are facing the same problem is you can uh, do an activation uh, for your delts prior to doing this exercise. So what that could uh, look like is doing a set of lateral raises with some pretty lightweight prior to doing your Viking press, uh, perhaps 30 reps, feel the muscle working, develop that mind to muscle connection and then when you go to hit your viking press or overhead press your shoulders will be working better than if you hadn't here i'm gonna try and train my glutes and well namely my hamstrings my posterior chain and i'm gonna give a nordic hamstring curl a go and what that is is like a leg curl but you're lifting your body weight as you can see i'm gonna go but i have to push with my arms and even then I struggle to make the rep so I say nope that's not happening there's no way I'm strong enough to do that so um, I give that idea a miss uh, and what I do instead is I do uh, hip thrusts and uh, what I've noticed is that when I do hip thrusts with both feet on the floor it's just not intense enough intensity refers to basically how much weight you're lifting and it has to be intense enough to the point where you're failing within 30 reps. Otherwise, you're not stimulating the muscle for growth. Uh, you're probably stimulating it for muscle endurance, but that's not my goal. My goal is hypertrophy. So to get stronger, you need to fail within 30 reps and it just wasn't happening. So I tried single leg hip thrusts where you know I'm supporting uh, my body weight on one side of my gluteus maximus rather than both. And uh, yes, it is a lot harder, but at the same time, I, I didn't feel as much activation in my gluteus maximus. And that, I reckon, is because there's just so much effort involved in stabilizing and balancing the hips that I wasn't able to focus on training my glute max. Um, so I'm still, trying to f I'm still trying to figure this out where... Um, I can effectively train my glute max at a good intensity um, and uh, yeah I'm still giving I'm still trying out new things and uh, experimenting uh, but this to me is a viable option if my stabilizer muscles were strong enough uh, which I do not think that they are not at this point anyway so as I s continue to figure that out we move on to pistol squats so these this is the first time I'm, I've managed to do pistol squats uh, and as you can see the form, as you can soon see, the form isn't going to be that pretty but I was very happy that I managed to finally get it because when the circuit breaker first started, I tried to do it even on a chair, just 
do one pistol squat on the chair and sit and stand back up, I could not do it. It was so hard. It was so painful on my knee because of the sheer force on my knee. I believe that uh, my quads were not supporting my weight very well. And what was happening was a lot of my weight was being supported by my connective tissue, namely my patella tendon. Uh, and I believe if, as I've practiced with uh, some support, uh, I've managed to develop that, uh, I've managed to use my quads a lot more and that's really reduced the pain on my knee. So it feels quite pain free now. Okay, so now I would like to address the psychological aspect of this whole lockdown and how I feel now as compared to when it first happened. So honestly, uh, I was very sad when the gyms closed down. The last day of um, training, I, uh, I <laughs> it was very difficult for me to say goodbye because the gym is a very special place to me. It's, uh, it's a place of escape for, from the problems that I'm facing in real life. <laughs> um, and I've always found solace in the gym and uh, it can be in the solitude of training alone or it could be in the company of great friends that i've made in the gym but it's always been a positive experience in the gym and that's where i feel truly happy i so sorely miss training in the gym i miss meeting my friends i miss the gym atmosphere i miss being able to lift some heavy weight and uh, I miss a lot of things that this uh, circuit breaker has taken away from us um, and for people who know me uh, they know that I have an issue that I deal with which is emotional binge eating where um, I still don't fully understand the reasons why, but I have a natural tendency to binge eat, especially when um, I'm going through something tough emotionally. Uh, and unfortunately, the circuit breaker, you know, has been a whirlwind of pretty negative emotions, and I would sometimes get motivated, but those moments are far and few between. I've always been consistent with training because that's honestly what I love to do. But you know, when you're not able to stick to your usual proper program, when you're not able to do a lot of the things that you love, when you're in a different atmosphere that's not as encouraging and not as motivating, it just doesn't feel right. And I binge ate and over ate the large majority of this circuit breaker, and I'm paying for it now. Where I'm so uh, I've gained so much weight, and uh, honestly, that's that's nothing new to me I've always uh, gone through these periods where I've gained a lot of weight and it's only through bodybuilding that you know I've been able to keep my body composition in check if not I'd end up probably looking like a sumo wrestler by now um, but uh, yeah I guess uh, as this circuit breaker comes to a close I'm going to be trying to whip it all together again and get lean so this is me beginning to get my diet under control again so uh i got that off my chest and uh, i hope you're all doing well and uh hope to see you all in smashing it in the gym Bye bye